Chirp signals are very important to us in radar, sonar, comms, lots of other areas, and we like to examine these with different sorts of instruments. We do it here with a spectrogram scope. Uh, this is the model I've got. I've got a uh, chirp controller down here in the lower left hand corner, uh, which is going to do a linear sweep. Uh, so it's going to be a, a swept FM signal. And uh, I'll just run this thing and see what goes. Uh, you can see the, uh, the, the sweep and also the frequency domain. We can listen to that. Little 1024 sample snippets of that. And of course, that gets me to thinking that maybe it would be worthwhile uh, listening on a continuous basis. So I'll just show you how to modify a model to make that kind of thing happen. I'll go off to Speedster. And uh, first off, I'll just cannibalize some existing model, which I ha happen to know has some uh, piece in it, which I want to have. I'd like to have that scope there. Let me get rid of, uh, let me get rid of this. And uh, bring this down out of the way. Here's the model I want to modify. I'll just do it on a temporary basis. I won't even bother to save the model. You don't have to do that in uh, in Simulink. So I'll just bring that that uh, speaker in, uh, the output device, um, and then get rid of the that demo where I got it from. And uh, for the other thing I want, I'll just go off to the more traditional approach of going inside a Speedster directory. Grabbing a block I want here, which is going to be a volume control. I'll turn that volume control down to about 0.2 or so. Uh, should be a reasonable sound level coming out. And get rid of main speedster, splash panel, and all the rest of it. So now when I come back to run, I can see, I can hear the sound as it sweeps. I can also now have a look at this. Spectrogram. This is showing me the time frequency nature of the sweep that I've got. Very handy way of looking at it. Uh, I can modify that. I can modify the sweep such that in fact it has stationary plateaus. I have down this display samples across here, frequency up here. So if I just hold this steady for a while, I can see that. I can also hear it. That is longer and longer time of more or less a stationary plateau, which of course I can see in both sorts of displays. So I get a different sort of perspective of it on here. Uh, I can go a bit crazier with this and put some up chirp, chirp and down chirp segments and see all sorts of shapes. Again, revealed uh, in a very, very handy way once I can deploy the spectrogram.